All right, here we're going, we're in, in Google Plus Photos. Again, remember, I go to Google Plus, hover over Home, and go to Photos. It brings you highlights. So if you use your phone and sync it, you'll see them. It automatically makes highlights for the dates that you recorded or all photos. Um, and so say you have a collection of photos. You took a lot, but you don't want to share them all with people. You just want to share a few. Um, there's a way to make an album. So see this little checkbox at the top? If I just click on that and that, so say there's a few fall photos I want to share with people. Um, and here we are. They're not all the best photos, but they're they're okay. Uh, let me see if I can find one more fall one. Uh, maybe not. Um, but anyway, so, so those few photos I want to share. Um, let's go back. Okay, so... And then, so what I want to do is I'm going to either share them as a group. If you click share, you could just share the, right here these selected photos and share them. Or I could put them in an album for later. I could see that collection that I want to use. Um, so to do that, to put it in an album, you go to copy those five photos and you give it a name. So I'm going to go to, um, I don't know, New England, uh, fall, fall colors, something, colors 2014. And I'm going to hit copy. Now the reason I copied because I don't want to remove them from the original collection. And here it says they've been copied to your album, Fall Colors 2014. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit. Um, and so now I go to more and I go to albums. And I'm going to, what I want to do is refresh it. Because it took, last time I did that, um, search result. Oh, I don't want search. I actually want to go to more and it takes it. Sometimes it takes just refreshing and then go to albums and fall garden. And let's see, let me refresh it again. Here's the refresh button up here. all colors there it is so so don't forget to refresh i did that before i got really frustrated but see this little i it's like a little lock no one else can see those but me i haven't shared it yet so if i click on that and it's going to ask me where i want to share it um so so here's the fall colors now if i wanted to remove a few or, or add a different one so you could add photos i can organize them so if you click on organize um, and it may be, if you're telling a story with photos, it's important to organize it that way. So here I'm going to, um, uh, let's see, move them. Oh, you can actually, it lets you even rotate. Uh, let's see if these editor, let's see, uh, you could rotate the picture. Um, let's see, drag, it used to be drag and drop. Let me just see. Uh, order by, oh, date, name, reverse. So, Let's do name. So, okay, there, those are the options, I guess. You can't drag and drop. Date taken, you could do reverse order. So something like that, and then hit done again. So here's, again, that's the order I want. I'm gonna share it, and I'm gonna go to share. And again, it brings you to Google Plus. You could say, all right, here are, uh, here is, is my album for week number six I think it's six I hope and then again I can organize it again if I don't like it um, I don't want it public I just want to share it with uh, this community CCV if I type it in now again these are CCV circles I don't want that I want again the one with our class icon I'm gonna click and I'm gonna go to week six and I'm gonna hit share And there you go. So that should show up in our community. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I look forward to seeing your pictures.